there's at least two ways to think about doing the immersive thing. There's like the more playful or gimmicky way of doing it. It's like, oh, look, we can put the saxophones behind you. Ha ha ha, there's now saxophones behind you. Isn't that cool? It's super fun to have thunder from behind you or something flying around you in space. You know, for, for the home theater world, right? That's made a lot of sense. A musical thing, I think people are still trying to find what the point or purpose of this is. And for classical music applications, a lot of the point has been to try to bring a sense of an acoustic space to places that have an imperfect or, or non-existent acoustic space.